Yes, everyone, welcome to another episode of Tokuketsu. And this week we are going to be talking about Kamen Rider Saber episode 36. Now, hmm. you know what? Actually, this episode, um, it was a bit better than what I expected. Like, really? A bit better? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, without further ado, let's get into it here! Go the intro. Your host for Tokuketsu, Kochi Cat here, and welcome to the Tokuketsu channel. Mm. If you want to hear me talk about rants, about the latest episodes, um, what I think about them, my after thoughts and all, uh -huh, remember to scratch the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you want to see live daily stuff and all, head over to my other YouTube channel. Um, link is in the description where you can see me do VTuber stuff, animation, and um, more, you know, animation VTuber stuff. <laughs> and without further ado, let's get into episode 36 discussions. Mm -hmm. So actually this episode was a really really pleasant surprise. I was not expecting um you know them to actually um go through the story properly. Um I expected them like oh we have a new enemy, now we fight new enemy, and that's all of it. Um but it sounds like ties in really nicely. And this is my love-hate relationship with um Kamen Rider Saber. Like, at certain times, it's just so poorly done. At certain times, it's so well done. Like, a whole, you know, betrayal arc where, you know, everybody betrayed Toma. I find the arc really, really ridiculously done. Like, how can you just think that, oh, this person um is a traitor just because someone said so. Can I just sit down and talk? Like, the whole... Kamerai Saber just felt like it was a show about Oh, we did not talk. We have no common understanding. I mean, this episode has its fair share of problems. Um, but I'll say visually and entertainment-wise, it's so much better from like last week, sitting under a tree and random fights with no value behind the fights. Yes, yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay, so first up, um, the most important thing about this episode is Kamerai Solomon. Um, his design, I know it's like taken from like what? EY! Uh -huh, you know, like that grant from Camera Zio. And the helmet is just a repaint and all. I understand that, you know, um, there's a budget issue, but overall, he looks presentable. I'm gonna be real honest, he does look presentable. Even though he's a recolor, he looks presentable. He doesn't look out of place. I think it's really nice. <laughs> and also, his sword is like a recolor of the King of Arthur. Mm. However, however, I'll be really honest. I was a little bit disappointed that I didn't get to see a Camera Solomon version of this. Yes, yeah. Instead, we got this. Isn't this like the Gambu Shinwa instead, yeah? Like, it, it feels more Gambu Shinwa than, than what I expected it to be. So, it was a bit disappointing. But aside that, I find that Solomon's introduction was actually pretty good. I actually enjoyed it. And. Thumb it up. Yes, Master Lord goes with his creepy talking. Ah, and, it's, and now it's the start of the war. Fight, you know. I really love this part. I don't know. It's largely because of the actor's acting. His acting is just so good. It's so exaggerated. And I was actually, you know, like, throughout the whole show, I was like, hmm, I really don't feel that he fits Master Logos until this episode. Like, the way he act, the way he expresses himself. This is just so imba. Really imba. I love it. I have to say, I love it. Like I love how this thing came about. I love how they actually, you know, ah, he's on top of the sky. He's talking loud to everyone. However, one thing um that still confuses me is eh, he's still alive. He's still alive. I know he's like an immortal fix. I thought he died. I thought he vanished into like ashes last episode, but he's still alive. I mean, at the end of the day, does anybody in this show actually die? Like aside from the original caliber and saber. Hmm. Me. Hey, one thing that really made me disappointed this episode was actually, you know, the whole thing about Ren and Dezaz. Like, I, I actually feel that, you know, Ren has so much potential to actually go through so much more backstory, but his backstory just felt plain and empty. Like, oh, my master said I should be stronger. Oh, is that all? Did not show his training? Did not show his hard work? It just felt so empty. It felt so plain. Um, it felt like 
this whole scene was just a waste of hiring one extra person to tell him what kind of is he? And now onto the siblings! Yes! Okay, so this episode, the siblings actually turn against Master! Logos! However, um, you know, I really don't understand the whole thing about the whole Master Logos part. Like, you know, the brother, real guy is like, Oh, so, you don't want to be called Master Logos anymore? Hmm. Now I can beat you down. You know, it just gives me this sense of... So, what was your loyalty? I really questioned the loyalty, like... You know, they were like... I don't know why they're so loyal right until like this moment of time. And suddenly they feel like... Okay, so you're no longer... um, You're no longer Master? Alright, I'll beat you up. I've no problems of beating you up yet. Because you don't call yourself Master. Hmm. It's like... Honestly, it just felt so... Pointless. It felt so... Stupid! Like, I give it straight up, it felt stupid! <laughs> okay, I expected a bit more, I guess. Am I expecting too much? Like, for a whole, you know, I feel betrayed up. Shouldn't we be expecting more now? Mm -hmm. And Sibylla, alright? Um, Shinareka. I actually like um, Sibylla's outfit. I love the handshake, I love the handshake device. I'm so tempted to get it from P Bandai. Why is it P Bandai? Why? Damn it, yeah. Hmm. Okay, but also, um, I'll say that this fight was actually really well done. Mm. Even though it's visually nice, but I don't feel the impact and the um uh, the emotions behind the fight. And visually, this was a really good fight. I really love this fight. Mm -hmm. And then they end off, you know, by you know going to like tag team with the rest of the main characters. Yes, yeah, uh -huh. go with Atoma. And Rintaro! But at the same time, it just felt pretty really plain like, oh, you have been betrayed. Now let's defeat Master Logos together, shall we now? <laughs> uh, it's a nice fight, okay? Once again, it's a nice fight. It's just very hollow, very empty. Uh -huh. I, the only character which I find that has really some weight behind him now is actually Kamen Rider Cycle, Yui. Uh -huh. And he has like explained to, you know, Kento, hey, shouldn't you like trust Toma? Like, I know the fish you see is like the whole world is getting destroyed, everything's gonna be destroyed, Toma will die, but can you trust Toma? You know, it's like this thing about, you know, him wanting to trust friends, his backstory and all. I find that he is the only one with an actual um character growth so far. And I really feel, you know, that he trusts it. Like he trusts what is going on. He trusts the story. He trusts the situation. And she don't really see like with the rest of the guy. The rest of the guy is like, oh, A means A, B means B. Okay, we are supposed to go like this because the story says so. Oh, we are supposed to do this because somebody said so. Yuri seems to be the only one with like, you know, a mind of his own. And he actually feels like he has a proper backstory. And in fact, I really, really, really love it if there's more backstory and more blood to Yuri because He's really the only character I really care about. Like, emotionally, he's the only one here. And of course, um, he does like, you know, come in and save the day at the end of the day to like save everyone and escape. <laughs> I mean, if he could take like this hit, wouldn't he be able to like, you know, like have defended against a lot of Master Logos attacks? I don't know. This whole thing about, you know, the power creep in this show, I, you know, Power creep is quite bad. You introduce new characters, give them more powers, and then you feel very useless at the end of it. I don't really get the power creep. I don't really like it, but mm, I'll say that. Okay, he, he looks like me you now. I really love Yui. I love Sai. And that will be the end of today's discussion. Yes, Nia. Um, today's episode, well, I really, really love the fights. It's definitely way better than, you know, sitting under a tree and looking retarded, Nia. Mm hmm. I also love how they introduced Kamara Solomon. I so far I'm, I'm actually kind of liking Solomon even though he's like a repaint of like most other things here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so will I be looking for the next week's episode? Yes. I'm actually waiting to see how next week's episode is gonna come about now. Like um right now with everything going on with next week's episode, mm, I really have no idea what they're gonna be putting in stock. Um so far they have a habit of like you know. Just throwing things into the story to make the story progress, which 
I'm not entirely huge fan of it, but it can it can be done better, definitely, yeah. Mm-hmm. And all right, so this week, um, that be it. Um, I probably will be doing discussion video about next week's episode since I found some resources for it. So stay tuned. And if you don't want to miss out on that, yeah, you must squish it, subscribe button, and hit the bell icon, and you will not miss the next video, yeah. Okay, thank you so much, and hope to see you on the next episode of Tokaketsu. Yes, yeah. Mm-hmm. And in the meantime, I still don't have an outro video, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, should I just start singing? Yeah. A saber in your hands, a pen to write it down. What's the safety is wrong? Nya 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 nya